25th. It's a Friday night. I'm paddling out to an open ocean. Or so you think. Some of my friends are out there waiting for me. We're gonna go after some white sea bass. After all, it is fall. White sea bass are around. They come out at night. They want to feed. Let's see if we can catch one and bring one home. Dude, look at that. on the board. Nice, nice fish. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome, Jim. Look at that. Okay, your guys' turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy crap. Look at this. Wait, I just want to make sure we're not... We're probably paying we're out, we're out. We're out. Come Holy on, moly, on. okay. Oh, come on, guys. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, whoa. come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, there we go. All right, okay. You're coming up now. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, here he is. Whoa, what a beauty. Whoa! What a monster! What a beast! Well, this guy was stuck in the kelp. He didn't want to come out. Oh my god! Look at this thing! Holy moly! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! In the middle of the night. This is awesome! Hey fellas, this is Yanni and you guys are inside the fisherman's belly and today we are doing something very special. I had a great night white sea bass fishing. I joined a bunch of friends of mine. I couldn't believe what we were doing. I figured, oh well, lobster season is around the corner. I might as well get ready for some nighttime fishing. But we ended up producing a few fish. It was incredible. So in honor of my friends and that night and that beautiful white sea bass I came home with, I'm gonna take some white sea bass steaks, I'm gonna broil them, and I'm gonna create a white wine saffron cream sauce. That's right, a white wine saffron cream sauce that you guys are just gonna die over. Don't be afraid of the word saffron. I went to Trader Joe's and I got some saffron, the world's most expensive spice. You're looking at a bottle that costs about $5, and this will be just enough for our cream sauce. So I've got some heavy cream, I've got some white wine. Now this is a Pinot Grigio. A Pinot Grigio is fine, or maybe a Sauvignon Blanc, but whatever you do, don't use a Chardonnay. Don't use a sweeter wine. We want a nice dry wine with a nice bite to it. And one of the things that we're going to be doing, and I'm going to teach you guys today, is how to make a quick and easy fish stock, because we definitely need a fish stock for our sauce. So that's actually the first thing we're going to do. Let's get going, let's start working on that fish stock. Okay, we're gonna start off our fish stock with cold water. I've got a cup and a half of cold water. And now I'm gonna put in a cup and a half of this Pinot Grigio. I'm gonna throw in a quarter of an onion. I'm gonna throw in two smashed garlic cloves. Now don't be afraid, I, don't, I haven't skinned these. I'm gonna strain all this off. Now I cut a small piece of white sea bass and we're gonna put that in there. And now I've got some parsley. Can't forget this. Pinch of salt. Pinch of pepper. Okay, I'm gonna bring this to a boil, then I'm gonna simmer it, and this is gonna take us maybe 20 minutes at the most. This is a quick and dirty fish stock. So while we're waiting for our fish stock to come to a rapid boil, let's start working on this white sea bass. All right, so you can tell I got some big fat white sea bass steaks. We're gonna prep these salt and pepper, some lemon, some olive oil, and we'll stick them under the broiler. Watch. Some salt. We gotta season these guys up. Some pepper. Some lemon. Oh, here we go. A little olive oil. Now we gotta flip them over and do it again. 
and we'll put these in the refrigerator until we need them. All right, fellas, our uh, fish stock is at a roaring boil right now. It's time to turn it down to a simmer. It's been about 10 minutes. So I've got it at a simmer, and now is the time to introduce the saffron. I don't want it, I didn't introduce it sooner because I don't want the saffron to get bitter at that high temperature. So I'm dropping the temperature, and now I'm gonna introduce the saffron. This came from Trader Joe's, Spanish saffron, there it is. And I'm gonna put about half of this in there, let's see. Just wait till you see what this saffron is gonna do. Fall in love with saffron. It is well, well worth it, believe me. All right, fellas, do you see that beautiful orangish yellow color that's the saffron i've had this simmering for 15 minutes it is done i'm going to taste it for saltiness to make sure it's okay oh man this is perfect perfect oh wow that white wine in there oh my god i can't wait to teach you guys how to make soup basically we're going to make our fish stock the same way anyway let's start making this sauce Okay, we're going to start off with a tablespoon of butter, a tablespoon of flour, and we're going to create a roux. And this is going to be a thickening agent for our sauce. Okay. Turn down the heat a little. We got it over a medium flame right now. We're going to cook this out for about three or four minutes. Okay, here comes the, here comes the technical part. We're going to start ladling in this warm stock. We ladle some in and we mix it. Oh, look at that color. Wow, look at that. Look how that's thickening up, wow. You've gotta to continue to whisk. Well, we're gonna do this about three or four times. Okay, I'm gonna turn down the heat and get it down to the lowest possible simmer right now. All right, while our sauce is cooking, I'm gonna get the uh, uh, fish out of the refrigerator and start putting it under the broiler. Uh, the fish steaks are nice and fat. They're probably about an inch, inch and a quarter. So it's gonna take a little longer than normal. I'm not gonna put them at the highest setting on the broiler. In other words, I'm not gonna put them right up against the flame because I know the inside won't get cooked and the outside will get burned. So I'm gonna put them down to the second setting on the uh, oven and I'm gonna start cooking them now. Okay, there we go. Oh boy, can't wait, can't wait. Awesome. All right, fellas, our sauce is reduced down to a nice thickness. I ended up putting the majority of my fish stock in here, so I'd say there's probably a little over a cup of fish stock in here that I've whisked in over a series of phases. It's time to add a full cup of this heavy cream to our sauce, and this is gonna just give it this beautiful, light, golden color. Just wait and see, just watch. Oh my God, look at that. Now this will only take a couple of minutes over a low simmer, and this sauce is gonna be ready. Wow, wow, wow. It's been about seven or eight minutes. I've pulled the uh, white sea bass out of the broiler. I've got my sauce all ready to go, and it is time to assemble. It is time to play. This is by far, as you know, my favorite time. So here we go. All right, fellas, while well, you talk about decadence, here we are. Saffron white wine cream sauce. Believe me, this will turn you into a gourmet chef. You can get a job at a five-star Michelin restaurant anywhere in the country after you do this. All right, and as the final touch, here we go. Some garnish, some green onions. Some chopped green onions. This white wine saffron cream sauce will just blow you away. I want you to try it. I want you to get used to saffron because saffron and fish and shellfish are a perfect pairing. Wow, your friends and family with this 
wonderful white sea bass. Do it justice. Turn into a gourmet chef. I want to thank you guys for being here with me at the Fisherman's Belly. Believe me, this is a winner. Uh-oh.